It's time to transform and roll out. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Transformers series. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at the best Transformers TV shows that have had a Western release. We've based these picks on a mixture of fan votes, popularity, overall quality, and our own personal preferences. All the comforts of home. Number 10, Transformers Rescue Bots. Fine, now you're interested. Who would have guessed that the Transformers could be fun and educational? Starting off on a kid-friendly note, this spin-off follows a small team of Transformers known as the Rescue Bots, who assist a group of humans in stopping natural hazards and other non-world-ending situations. That will destroy the harmonious nature of the plaza's design. What? The fact that it's geared towards a younger demographic might scare away hardcore fans, but this show uses the Transformers banner to teach children about security and very real dangers. And that's definitely worthy of praise. Well, it must be doing something right. It's one of the longest running of any of the animated Transformers series. Others taking the credit. <laughs> <laughs> Having to pretend we're tin cans. Number nine, Transformers, Robots in Disguise. Come forth, Predacons, and destroy Optimus Prime! Bring it on! This show was nothing more than filler for Western audiences until the next series transformed and rolled out. So let's just say expectations were low. But Robots in Disguise delivered. <laughs> Taking place in what can almost be considered an alternate universe, this installment shows the Autobots and their human allies battling against both the Predacons and the Decepticons following up the Beast era by bringing back characters that go back to the very foundation of Transformers lore. When being translated over from its original Japanese, writers even added in allusions to other Transformers programs. That self-awareness, plus its mostly self-contained episodes, fairly solid action, and reliable animation production, means that longtime fans will definitely appreciate this rad series. <laughs> Number 8, Transformers, Energon. Transformers, more than meets the eye. When the Autobots and Decepticons battle for their version of fossil fuels, things get ugly. A direct sequel to Transformers Armada, the story follows the Autobots and the rest of humanity as they join forces, focusing their efforts on finding the source of a Transformers power, Energon. We must collect sufficient Energon to awaken Unicron! Of course, Megatron isn't far behind, and this time he's bringing the big guns in terms of the planet-sized Unicron. With the character models fully computer-generated, this is one to check out for the stunning visuals alone. Transform! Number 7, Transformers Cybertron. Continuing the trend of giving the Transformers the anime treatment, this series was released to the West as a sequel to Transformers Armada and Transformers Energon, despite being a completely distinct entity in Japan. No! Don't! Continuity issues aside, the animation is just as crisp, and a lot more depth is given to each of the characters, especially the mysterious Vector Prime. Rounding off a trilogy of shows that wasn't ever meant to be a trilogy, Cybertron certainly has more of an authentic feel than some of its predecessors. Decepticon in the corner pocket. Number 6, Beast Machines, Transformers. Beast Machines might not have lived up to the awesomeness that was Beast Wars, but this controversial sequel certainly went in with guns blazing from the get-go. Awakening on Cybertron with no memory, Optimus and the Maximals are hunted by mechanical drones who operate under the orders of the planet's new ruler, Megatron. This is definitely one of the darkest installments in the franchise, with an overarching story filled with themes of balance, nature, and ascension. At long last, a receptive spark. But you have to give the creators props for taking a gamble on a more adult-oriented narrative demonstrating that Transformers doesn't just have to be kid stuff. I have forged this entire planet into a single elegant machine. Number 5, Transformers Armada. Get ready for a new battle. 
Transformers. The seed that would eventually lead to Transformers Energon and Transformers Cybertron. This is the show that fully embraced the anime style, with vibrant and sharp action that fans could not get enough of. <laughs> In yet another retelling, the Autobots and Decepticons battle leads to their eventual departure from their home planet. Only this time, they're in pursuit of creatures known as Minicons, miniature robots with great destructive capabilities. Even though the show's production was rushed and the animation could be full of errors, Optimus looks damn good kicking some shiny metal ass. Optimus Prime! Optimus who? Number 4. Transformers Animated Dare strike me, Megatron! Don't let the departure in style steer you away. This show is all kinds of awesome. After being awoken from stasis, the Autobots learn that the all-powerful, all-important, all-elusive Allspark is on Earth, as is a very pissed-off Megatron. Is that the best you could do, Starscream? Retelling old stories with a fresh look and plenty of modern humor, Transformers Animated reaches a perfect balance between character, narrative, and fluid action. Plus, the exceptional voiceover cast includes Tom Kenny as Starscream and Bill Fagerbakke as Bulkhead. That's right, SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick Starr are both in a Transformers series. You guys got it easy. All people want me to do is break stuff. Number 3. Transformers Prime Transformers Prime mixes CG and 2D animation seamlessly together, and in doing so, it grabbed four daytime Emmys. Once again, the Autobots and the Decepticons are at war with each other, but when Megatron comes back from deep space with a substance that can turn fallen machines into mindless zombies, that's when this show hits its stride, becoming one of the most highly regarded in the franchise's history. It also saw Peter Cullen and Frank Welker return to their iconic G1 roles as Optimus Prime and Megatron, respectively. Needless to say, all of that got fans hooked. One shall stand, and one shall fall. Number 2. The Transformers Give it up, Megatron! The universe is mine! Despite the fact that each new episode is not only layered with 80s cheesiness, but also filled with attempts to introduce as many new toys, uh, we mean characters as possible, the Generation 1 series is indeed a classic that holds a special place in the hearts of true fans. Wheeljack to Iacon, we're coming in! The tale of the Autobots fighting for the freedom of all sentient beings against the infamous Megatron and his band of Decepticons is one of television history's most iconic animated stories. <laughs> Even after all these years, it still holds up surprisingly well, both in animation and in action. And do we even need to mention that theme song? Before our number one pick rises, here is an honorable mention. Number one, Beast Wars Transformers. The first generation ruled the 80s, but our top pick goes to this 90s gem. This reimagining of the Transformers universe, which features animal forms, quickly overcame early stumbles to become a love letter to fans, with enough callbacks, references, and even cameos to keep audiences on the edge of their seat. Beast Wars are over, Optimus. You lose. Crash landed on a prehistoric Earth. The Maximals and Predacons battle it out, while trying to find a way back to Cybertron. As the series progresses, however, the stakes get raised. Villains become heroes, friends are lost, and the fate of the human race hangs in the balance. With a strong narrative, great wit, and an excellent cast of fleshed-out characters, Optimus Primal and an oh-so-hammy Megatron finally gave us the best Transformers had to offer. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.